just imagine you as a girl, you're swiping, swiping, swiping. Then you see a black and white photo, right? You have to stop for a second because your eyes have to adjust. And it's the same for a, a bright background, right? Yo, what up, my young kings? It's your boy here, back with another video. You guys see the topic. So I always constantly say, bro, you have to have the best quality pictures on Tinder, but I've been capping. I've never actually made a video on the best quality photos. So this is what I'm gonna give you guys today. All right, so let's jump right into this video. So yo, if you guys are new to the channel, I like giving guys dating advice. How to be that wholesome guy, you guys feel me? Just how to get the girl your dreams and self-development. So you guys like this kind of content? Do me a favor right now, make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe, because I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday and don't miss a day. But yo, so what's the first tip? I'm gonna keep it real. Girls notice everything with the pictures, okay? How is this a tip? Let me tell you a funny story real quick, right? So my first, like, the first time I ever got a girl from Tinder, right, she ended up telling me in this picture right here that my fly was open. What the hell? Maybe that's the reason she swiped. She saw the fly open and she, she couldn't help but notice it. It's like, no. But that's just a funny story, right? But it shows you that girls notice the smallest thing. And now how does this apply to you, right? So whenever I put jerseys on, like, you guys know me. I love, um... Arsenal jersey, right? I love my Arsenal jersey. They have the Barcelona jersey. You guys see this jersey right here, right? So girls who are really into sports, like yo, this is called peacocking, right? So peacocking, you wear certain things that you know gonna get comment on it. So hey, start wearing some jerseys, right? Especially baseball. Girls love baseball and hockey jerseys. Put that on. Girls who love those sports will start commenting on it. It's just a conversation start. So also make sure to pay attention to the small details, okay? Number two. A statistic that I actually found, and you guys are gonna see the article in the description. Black and white photos perform better, right? I didn't actually know this. I just had a tough black and white photo, right? So you guys see this photo right here. I realized that like on Hinge, right? You can see which photos they liked or did they like your prompt or anything. I realized a lot of girls will like this black and white photo, right? Because why? When you're swiping, right? Just imagine you as a girl, you're swiping, swiping, swiping. Then you see a black and white photo, right? You have to stop for a second because your eyes have to adjust. And it's the same for a, a bright background, right? So you guys see the photos with like, colorful yellow backgrounds or colorful pink backgrounds, right? Your eyes stop for a second, which is probably the reason why increase your matches. So if you can start taking black and white photos or just have one, it's really gonna increase your chances, all right? Number three, all right, don't roast me. You guys be seeing my Instagram, bro. I, I'm a little head ass, bro, you feel me? Because like, yo, I always go like this in the camera. Yo, what's good, what's good, what's good, what's good, what's good. But what I want you to understand is videos are a game changer. You guys see me, I can do my little fake little smile. <laughs> do this, you guys know I'm just capping for the shorties, right? But I will tell you right now, you utilize these videos, not everyone utilizes the videos. The good thing too is, hey, you can put a song there too. Girls notice everything. So you put a, your favorite song, you might put some Chris Brown, you feel me? I know I'm not the only one that pre to Chris Brown, right? You might put some Drake and she can start commenting on like, oh, you're a Drake fan, oh, you're a Chris Brown fan. So you guys see the gist. Also, you want to have good photos, but you also want something that can start conversation. I, that's what really makes a good photo, right? Number four, quality is everything. And I'm not gonna lie, I used to be a little ugly, feel me? And I'll tell you one thing, right? Look at these two soup photos, right? This is back in the day when people used to call me Little O. You guys know my YouTube channel, been watching for a while. There was, uh, there's three guys in my friend group, right, with the same name me. They call one Big O, they had Smart O, and they had Little O, right? And the thing is, I was, I'm not even a little, pause, no pause, okay? But the other O, he was bigger than me, pause, okay? <laughs> Major pause, okay? And then the other guy, he wasn't even smarter than me, he just presented himself as a nerd. Like I had, I've always had good grades growing up, right? So, I mean this picture right here, people used to call me Little O, right? But then when I took this picture, they used to call me, uh, I went from little O to, oh dang, this is Prince O, you feel me? So I'm trying to tell you, the quality, you guys see the quality difference, right? You guys see the lighting wasn't that good. I'm not looking at the photo. It's not the best angle. And just look at it, it's just an ugly photo, right? Even the filter didn't do me justice. I look mad dark in the photo, right? Versus this, where I'm smiling, I have a little pose on, you have to see the quality, you see the blur background. See, this is a difference. If, if a girl saw this picture and a girl saw this picture, what do you think she would do? She would probably swipe left on this one, say this guy ugly as hell, and swipe right on this one, right? And those small details really make you have good photos. So remember these, okay? 
always try and have the highest quality photo. You guys always see my channel. I tell you guys, get professional photographers. I don't say that just to rap. Cause I know this from my own dating life, bro. I tell you single-handedly, Instagram changed my life, bro. Just having good quality photos, bro. And I didn't become more attractive. I just got a, a person behind the camera that's a little better, okay? And I'll tell you one thing. I used to always struggle with getting girls on Instagram, man. I would be the guy who would be like, hey, big head, hey, big head. I remember on Twitter one time, right? I used to have to, because girls would never follow me back. I used to have to comment underneath their tweets or retweet them, like, follow me back, okay, something like that. And I remember a girl was like, who the hell are you? Why would I follow you back? And then my whole friend group seen that, they roasted the hell out of me, right? But then I utilized the Instagram, make sure to take the highest quality photos. Now I have girls asking me to follow back. So you guys can do the same thing with your reality and your time. Next thing, focus on lighting, okay? And I'm not saying this just because I'm a black as hell, right? I'm not saying because I'm dark as hell, because I'm African, right? I'm saying this because it's the reality. Look at this photo right here, right? Look how, how he looks dark, right? But then look when it has the proper lighting. It's day and night. See, you guys be taking these photos you guys be looking ugly as hell, dark as hell in your bathroom. Don't put no filter on it. Don't make yourself look any lighter, right? So rule of thumb, make sure to take a photo in front of the sun, okay? Make sure, make sure the sun is in front of you, okay? When you're taking a photo, just so you look better, okay? Trust me, lighting is a cheat code. Number six, bro, your selfies are ugly. No cap. Stop taking selfies, bro. They're ugly. Nobody wants to see you in a mirror taking a selfie, okay? I know, I know. Even me, I'd be like this, I'd be like this. But you know, I'm thirst trapping, but no, for real, for real. The selfies don't really work unless they're a good quality selfie and you're doing it for a reason, right? So you can do selfies, right? But the thing with you guys' selfies, a lot of your selfies look like this. What the hell is this? You look so ugly, head ass. Bro, who wants that? Stop, stop, okay? If you're gonna take a selfie, hey, look at this. Good headshots are way better than selfies. Look at the difference between this photo and this photo, see? There's a clear difference, okay? With the headshot, he in a suit too, he got a little smirk going on, it's a little edited versus this random selfie, okay? The only time I think selfies are good it's like, hey, you guys see the video, okay? The video, it adds effect, and me smiling, shows my best thing, it's not even a selfie, it's a video, it's me pulling my beard sometimes, and then you guys hear the music. So that's one time when selfies is good, right? But also, another time is like, hey, maybe you're on Mount Everest and you're taking a selfie like this, or maybe you're by the Alpha Tower and you're taking a selfie like this. Those are kind of good, but I still recommend just stay away from selfies, okay? The next thing, okay? They say dogs don't really help, but that's cap. In the article, it says dogs don't help at all, right? But the reality is, bro, I've been on Tinder, you've been on Tinder, you guys know dang on well dogs help, okay? And you, if you guys know girls, you guys know they freaking love dogs. I don't know why, but they love dogs. I knew one person in particular, right? One of my closest friends, right? He told me one thing. He said, yo, I had the nice car, I had the apartment, I had the logistics, I had the parties, and I did all this stuff, I had the money, and I still wasn't getting any girls. But the one thing that got me girls was my dog. If that don't mean something to you, bro, I don't know what you're listening to. So hey, look at this. Look at the difference between this picture and this picture. The dogs really help you a lot. So just take some selfies, not some selfies, just take some photos with your dog. Look at this photo. You don't think girls love it? You don't think this is a good quality photo? Number eight. Focus on nice backgrounds, okay? You guys see my background in this photo is the Tesla. You guys see I blur out photos a lot, okay? But even look at this. This is a colorful background behind the greedy, uh, behind graffiti. The background really what makes the picture pop, okay? If you don't think you're that attractive, you probably are attractive, but you can put yourself in different positions, different folds, have, have more background aesthetics, and it's gonna make your photo pop out way more. The next thing is, bro, Stop taking pictures with your ex. Stop taking pictures with your girl, your ex-girlfriends or your girlfriends or just the girls you're friends on with. Girls are jealous as hell, bro. I'm gonna tell you this right now. She comparing herself to that girl and when she thinks that girl looks ugly, she gonna think you look ugly. And when she thinks she's too hot, she gonna think, she gonna think she's not on your level and she gonna get mad or start hating on the girl. So just leave the girl out 
and leave the group photos, bro. We don't need to see you with your friends and your group, son. Just take photos of yourself. That's what girls want to say. If it takes her 10 seconds to find you in a group, or maybe you're even the shortest one in the group, or maybe, I don't know, maybe you look the fattest in the group. See, this is more stuff that brings air. Just take out the groups, okay? And then number 10, this is easier said than done. But it gotta be said, try and look like a model, okay? What the hell do I mean, okay? You guys know what a model means, okay? But hey, things you do, make sure to have certain poses, bro. Like certain poses, you hold your hand, or you lean back like this, you put your leg up, you squat. All these different things are different poses. Have someone where you're smiling, have someone where you have a straight face. I'm not gonna lie to you. This, go like this. Do light skin face, hey, do light skin face, hey, do light skin face. They call that the light skin face. You guys know, they call that, do the light skin face, hey, do the light skin face, hey, do the light skin face, hey. So, <laughs> this is called the light skin face, right? But what I'm telling you, squint your eyes, hook up your lips a little, and girls are gonna find you more attractive, okay? That's how models typically do it, okay? Try some trendy outfits. Make sure to have some good fitting outfits. Like, you're not always gonna be a fashionable person, but you can make yourself fashionable in your own context. Hey, maybe you're a nice, professional-looking guy, Put that suit photo on, bro. Maybe you're a doctor, Sam. Put that doctor outfit on. That Hey, put the quad coat. That's gonna make you look more attractive. Hey, maybe you're a skateboarder. Put on some skateboarding. Maybe you wear streetwear. Put on some streetwear. You're an old hippie type of person. Put on that clothes. All that stuff makes you look more fashionable. And what I do, I follow people on Instagram that have great fashion ideas, and I'm not gonna lie. I steal the fashion ideas, I steal the outfits, and I wear it, and I take photos, and I put myself on Tinder, and I get some matches. That's what you guys better do. You guys have, you guys better be following me on Instagram to see my outfit ideas. I'm trying to tell you, the better your outfit, the better girls you're gonna get, all right? But yo guys, if you guys like this kind of content, do me a favor right now, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, because I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday, and I don't miss a day. But yo guys, I freaking love you, and I'm out.